We Are All In is a new Wisconsin campaign to promote a strong economy and good health. The effort urges us all to be safe so that businesses can reopen and stay open. I recently talked to the Paps Theater Group about the fun things they're doing for special occasions like weddings. So I want to welcome Ann Leonard and Sarah Peranto. They're both with the Paps Theater Group. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. So with this shutdown, it must be pretty exciting to finally reopen in some capacity. Definitely. It feels good to be back, you know, with the state slowly opening back up. We are starting to do some smaller events as safely as possible. Um, and it feels nice to, to be having small events again. Oh, I bet. Now, there's certain restrictions that I know that you have to follow. So when you help people plan events, I'm sure a big part of it is sort of educating people on what you can do and what you can't do right now, right? Yes, definitely. Um, we're, we're enforcing the mask mandate. We obviously, you know, like I said, we want to be doing these events as safely as possible. So things like temperature checks as guests are arriving, enforcing the mask mandate, social distancing. We're, we're kind of doing everything that we can to make sure that the events that we are hosting are as safe as possible. You mentioned wearing the masks and I saw a cute picture. And the picture that I'm referencing is actually what, something you mentioned, which are these elopements, right? How does that work? So couples can use the Paps Theater, the Riverside Theater, or Turner Hall Ballroom for their elopement. Um, so we're essentially doing small wedding ceremonies for up to 25 people. So if you were planning on getting married this year and maybe had to postpone or cancel your full wedding that was maybe a little bit larger, you can still celebrate by having a small elopement ceremony in one of these historic buildings that normally are not available for these smaller events throughout the year. How, how's it being received? What, what are couples and their guests saying when you, you plan these events and have them? I think for the most part, people are just really excited to have this option. You know, it's, it's kind of the equivalent of, I've heard some people say going to City Hall, but it's much cooler. I mean, you can kind of have this small little wedding ceremony, but have this beautiful backdrop behind you. So I think people are just excited to be able to celebrate in some way. Yeah, and I think just from looking at the pictures, people are still feeling joy. And did you recently also have sort of like more of a full wedding? We did. We had our first full wedding at Turner Hall this past weekend with our large open ballroom space. Um, our 25% capacity is 246, so we can still have larger events. Um, the wedding this last weekend was, was about 100 people, so it was still... On the smaller side, but that gave us a lot of room for people to space out, socially distance tables, um, and keep it safe. Wow, to think that you can still have an event up to 250 people. I know it's because that space is so large, which is fantastic. What about as it relates to private events? Do you have plans? Are there ways that you can accommodate people for something like that? Um, we're, we're definitely working and trying to get, you know, without having to have our normal events, you know, we have to get creative. And so we're definitely talking about how we can utilize our spaces like Ann said that aren't normally available right now for a range of other things. Um, you know, that could be a corporate meeting, that could be an anniversary party. Um, you know, kind of you name it, we can accommodate it in our venues and we'll definitely be incorporating the same, the same kind of safety measures that Ann mentioned with masks and temperature checks and sanitizing those events throughout with a cleaning team. Um, so we're just, we're trying to do what we can. I know people are going to be watching this and they're going to say, I want to plan a party. I, I have a special event I really want to make happen. Maybe it's a wedding that they've put off. What, what advice would you have for them? Should they call you and sort of talk over their, the number of guests, what they kind of expect, if you still can, can work out food arrangements? How, how would people go about that process? So people can go to our website, they can go to papstheatergrouprentals.com or specifically if they're interested in a wedding at Turner Hall, they can go to turnerhallballroomweddings.com. They can reach out to us. We're happy to talk through everything with them if they're concerned about safety measures or the size of their group or the logistics of how a buffet line is going to work. We can talk through all of that with them to make sure that they're comfortable and their guests can be comfortable with celebrating the we're all in campaign um, I know they're encouraging people to share photographs um, of people having fun in small gatherings wearing masks social distancing doing the right thing so you're probably encouraging people too to use the hashtag we are all in and share those fun pictures 
Yeah, I mean, the whole point of that campaign is just to show that, you know, if we want to get back to normal and we want to open up, you know, we have to be responsible about it. And that's obviously what we're doing. We're, you know, we're thinking about all of this very thoroughly and we want to make sure that these spaces are very safe for our staff and for the guests and that everyone feels comfortable, you know, having as normal of an event as they can in, during this time. Well, I appreciate you both joining us. Thanks for, for following the rules, doing the right thing, but also helping people experience these fun and joyful moments in life. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having us. So to book an elopement or private event at the Riverside Theater, the Paps Theater, or Turner Hall, go to papstheatergrouprentals.com. And there are three easy things you can do to help the We're All In campaign. First, follow it on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at We Are All In WI. Second, post a picture of yourself being safe, such as social distancing or wearing a mask. Third, share those pics on your own social media with the hashtag We Are All In.